Hi, this is Nolan Hames from PresentYourStory.com and Nolan Hames Creative, and today I want to give you a quick demo of a brand new PowerPoint add-in called SlideWise from the good folks at New Power. Uh, they're the ones who uh, are behind NX PowerLite, which is the tool you want to use for um, uh, any Office document compression. But let's dive in and show you what uh, SlideWise is. Uh, this is a, a sample file I've got here. It's only 32 slides, but it's 153 megs, which is way too big, and there's definitely a problem. So short of using the um, the unzip trick, which you can see in another uh, one of my YouTube videos how to uh, make use of, there's really no way to examine the media in a, a PowerPoint file and figure out what's bloating your file. But now here's SlideWise, and it installs like any other uh, PowerPoint add-in. Uh, and it gives you a little icon um, on your home tab. Now if I click slidewise, it's going to pull up a little sidebar uh, on the side here. It takes a while as it goes through the file and looks at things. And you'll see that it's now analyzing everything in here and telling me that, yeah, my file's 153 megs, but then it breaks it down. What is causing this uh, file bloat? Well, I have 27 images, 11 JPEGs, 15 PNGs, one TIFF. A TIFF is a is a, a file format for imagery you really shouldn't be using in PowerPoint because it just creates the it, the file size is way too big and it's unnecessary. And you'll see I've got one TIFF in here that's 37 megs. That it's ridiculous. So I'm gonna just arrow down here and and pull this out and it's gonna tell me that that TIFF is on slide 19 right there. Let me uh, go to that slide. It's on slide 19 and if I click it again here, it'll actually select the file or the image. And you can see it, for some bizarre reason, it's a logo of Starbucks, a TIFF, again, should never have to use that file format, that's taking up 37 megs. So now I can surgically go in, delete this, swap it with an SVG, or um, even compress it uh, using PowerPoint's uh, internal tools if I want. But that's going to really help me reduce file size. It also looks at embedded objects such as videos and audio. Um, and I can go down to audio or video here and see that I have two videos here. Now I thought I only had one video in this in this file, so let me go examine that. Uh, the first one, it shows me, yep, that's the video I thought, but then it shows me this other one. Let me click that. It's also on the same slide, but I don't see it. Um, it's not underneath. Uh, this uh, slide-wise will actually show you things that you've hidden, and if you don't know about this, under the Arrange tool, you can go to Selection Pane, and you can actually hide and unhide items on your, your slide, and I can see here that I have this other video that's hidden for some reason. Maybe somebody did it, maybe I did it and forgot about it. Um, so I've got this little sliver of a video. It's taking up 13 megs. I clearly don't need it in my file. I'm going to delete it, and now you'll see that it says changes detected. Um, I can analyze the file again, and now that video is gone. So that's just a real quick way um, to, to clean out your file and, and get rid of junk. Now, that alone is, is, is worth the price of, of this, uh, this uh, add-in, but it does one more thing. It looks, and man it looks at and manages your fonts. I can see here that I have nine fonts used in this, in this uh, file here, and I only, if I go to my theme fonts here, um, I really should only be using Calibri Light to be on brand. So my, my, my template says only use Calibri Light, yet somehow all these other fonts have snuck in here over, over time. And I can, again, just go slide to slide. I can see right there, okay, uh, on my, my cover slide here, I've used Arial Black. Um, there's Avenir in a few places. Now, by clicking these uh, dots here, I can replace those fonts and now I know what you're saying, PowerPoint has a replace font tool, but PowerPoint's replace font tool is not perfect because sometimes you'll, you'll use it and it simply won't replace Arial. It simply won't replace other things. Sometimes you'll get an error about single byte and double byte fonts. Plus you have to do it font by font. And if you have a lot of fonts like I do here, it's going to take time. Uh, Slidewise's replace tool, you can batch replace. So you can select everything or be selective about it. Um, I'm going to select everything here uh, to replace, then go to my replace it with. Now I can choose anything on my system that's available to me, but I can also choose theme font and theme headings, again, to help keep me on brand. But in this case, I'm just going to go down to, let's say, Calibri Light and say replace all fonts. And you'll see what happens. It's going to close down. It's going to reopen. Don't worry about it. The, the screen sometimes gets a little uh, frozen, but it's working. Trust me on that. You're going to see the, the little spinner going around uh, because it's going into the XML and it's rewriting and 
replacing all that font information. So depending on how large your file is, how many fonts, it, it could take a little while. But there we go. Uh, it replaced everything. You can now see that I only have Calibri Lite uh, in this file now. Um, also, if you want to embed or unembed fonts, you can see right here it says the fonts are not embedded in this file. Again, click the three dots and you can embed fonts uh, fully or a subset, or if they're already embedded, you can unembed them without having to go into preferences, save and, and do all that uh, stuff. So it's sort of a one click way to uh, do that as well. So that is, and look, we can see that yep, instead of Arial Black on the front, now it's been replaced to Calibri Lite. So if you uh, need to manage uh, PowerPoint files, if you need to manage fonts better than PowerPoint is letting you currently do, go to newpower.com slash products. You can download a pre 1.0 uh, version of, of the, the, uh, the, the tool, um, at least at the, the time of this recording. But if you do that, when they come out with 1.0, you will uh, get that as well. So highly recommend it. Uh, my name is Nolan Hames from presentyourstory.com and Nolan Hames Creative. And please subscribe if you haven't and happy PowerPointing.